Good afternoon everyone, my name is Maria AJ and today I'll be taking UE Bristol's Instagram account to talk to you guys about what is it like to be an international student at UE Bristol. So a little bit about me, I'm a first year student studying criminology with psychology. I am one of the UB Global Body Scholars and as you can see an international student from the Philippines and here to represent the Global Future Students. So what is it like living on campus and in student halls? So at the moment I'm staying at Mendip Court here at the Student Village in French Air Campus and I was scared at first because I didn't know anyone at all but then you get to see some of the students getting the group chats sorted out and you get to meet them, even your flatmates as well and some of your court mates or block mates uh, through chat, probably Messenger, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and you get to talk to them before even your arrival here, which is great. So if you are going to be a January intake, I suggest going on Facebook and hunt for your uh, flatmates or probably uh, your course mates as well. In terms of campus life, um, it's a bit different to what I have anticipated it to be due to the extraordinary times that we are in. However, we make the most out of it. Um, some students who finishes their class at mid-afternoon or probably during the evening will probably message uh, the group chat if they want to actually hang out and go downstairs because in, uh, visitors are not allowed inside the flat. So we tend to actually go outside and still meet people. St uh, stick to the rule of six, by the way, and two meters apart. UE is superb as they already have provided the ironing board, uh, vacuum cleaners, mops and even the cleaning materials that we need to for our first two weeks. They have also provided a mattress, mattress cover, a lamp. Uh, in terms of the face-to-face -face teaching, it is still very much alive. I myself still go to the seminars on campus. We have activities and um, some lectures as well. It depends on you if you want to take off your mask. They advise not to remove your mask during the seminars. It's great as well as you see your course mates, not just, you know, electronically on a laptop screen. UE is brilliant for coming up with loads of ideas on how to get the students all together in just one sitting, uh, comfortable in their seats. So one of it is the mocktail event that they've got, uh, had a couple of weeks back. Also, um, they give prizes when it comes to like uh, quiz nights. And right now they're doing as well the Christmas card. If you want to actually give some to your friends and so you might want to actually be on the ball for whatever student union sends to your email. So how is student support at UE? Well, I think UE actually comes up with a lot of things that uh, to actually help every single individual or students in here. Even if it's just minor, your well-being, your health, you can always call UE for that. Um, one of the good things as well in here is that they have a security office, which is open all the time. They also have the info point. You can always give them a ring. I'll put down the number later. And uh, they also have a student support uh, agents so actually keep up with you every week to ask you how you are, how you are feeling, can you keep up with your academics. For groceries, you can either walk, which is 10 minutes down the road. You can go to Asda, Lidl, Sainsbury, The Range, many places. It's already 10 minutes walk. And you can also do online order, just eat, Uber or delivery. Support for self-isolating students are great here at UE. You can order your groceries online and they will deliver to you in advance in your flat. You would also be called by a supporting agent every now and then. I'll put down the link below.
probably prepare mentally for the coursework and assignments and lectures and also be familiar with the blackboard layout and with your modules. So UE has every possible society that you can think of, archery, um, swimming, or even karate. I'm even part of the Feliz Society. I'll put down the link below so you can actually look at what kind of society you are interested in. Absolutely. I think it's very easy to make friends as I myself have a different culture and everyone is. So it's very interesting to have different topics with different people. So three tips for future applicants. First is, don't be afraid to practice your English. Everyone else is practicing their English. I mean, you're in the UK. And second is, don't be afraid to socialize. Everyone else is trying to make friends and social media is on our side. And lastly, do your research. Don't forget to research where's the groceries, where's the nearest um, supermarket, or what kind of a uh, bus ticket, I need to go to the city centre. So, my life in Bristol before the lockdown. Well, honestly, at this time of the year, there's going to be a Christmas market and probably UE or Student Union is buzzing and lively with students um, trying to have fun. And also shops are open. You get to hang out with your friends going out and about. So I can't wait for this lockdown to be over.